All right, guys, this is JDog706 from JDog Tech Help, and we're in Adobe After Effects CS4 here, and I'm going to show you guys how to render your video or your project in HD 720p quality, guys, all right? Now, if you watch the YouTube video on how to get this, and it says go to File and Export and select either one of these, they're wrong, guys. The quality sucks, really, okay? So once you have your, your project set, make sure that your comp first of all you're starting with your composition settings. Your preset is HDV slash HDTV 720 29.97. Okay. Make sure frame is 29.97, resolution full with 1280 height 720, and go to OK. Alright. Now you can either go to <clears throat> You can go to composition and add to render queue, or you can press control, shift, and the question mark key. Okay, that will add what you're working on to the render queue. Now, render settings make sure the quality is best, the resolution is full, and the size is 1280 by 720. Okay, now I'm telling you guys that it'd be easier just to when you get to output mode and lossless make sure it's video it can be video for windows quicktime movie or windows media i go windows media because it may look like it's crappy quality but when you put it in hd it's actually very good quality okay so you got windows media that's all you got to do wmv format options okay make sure that that is hd tv 720p 30 medium quality or 1080p medium quality. I'm just going to leave it like that. 29.97. Okay. Image quality 70. Okay. Because it'd still be high quality no matter what you do. So you can even leave it on 70 or 80. Okay. I'm going to put it on 80. Alright. You can go to 100 or whatever you want, but it may be a little laggy depending on your computer. Okay. Because it trades, it trades motion for picture quality. Okay, so picture quality may be high, but the motion may suck, and the picture hot, the picture quality may suck, and the motion may be great. So what you're gonna do, you can either have audio. I don't have audio, so I'm gonna take the audio output out. And now that that's set, all you're gonna do is hit render, and we're gonna wait for that. Okay, this is only like a five second video or four seconds and twenty twenty nine milliseconds. Okay. So, wait on this. It shouldn't take very long at all. Okay, it has 150 frames. It's got like 56 of them done. Now this is not just a picture guys, I got motion in this, this is something to, uh, not so good intro, but an intro for people who don't know how to really make an intro, but I'll make a, <laughs> I'll make a, I'll make a video on how to create a pretty sweet intro in After Effects for you guys, alright? Now if you're seeing this background I got here and the paintbrush effect, that's from Riot Gear, which you can purchase at videocopilot.net which will be in the description for 50 bucks guys 49.99 I know that may seem like a lot but it's worth it and they also have something called sound effects that's a hundred bucks but it comes with so many sounds and it's great it's only like 300 and some megabytes but it's very worth it and if you are like Freddie Wong and are into making awesome videos action videos alright so that little chime that just played has signified to us that it is done Now, that's like that. The image quality may not be great on that, but it's an HD, guys, okay? So if you're using something and you save the, vi the video with the intro in HD, it's, that's how you do it. <laughs> Alright? Now, 
that was my how to save your videos in HD or render them in Adobe After Effects, and I'll see you guys next time.